Hello everybody, welcome back to 539 Productions. Today I am taking a chance on this little location uh, that's not too far away from where I live and it looked really cool. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work out. I'm seeing some older uh, graves and it, it is a graveyard. Um, and I saw a really cool mausoleum. I wasn't sure how old it was or if it was unlocked and I could get in and uh, check it out. So I wanted to look inside that. Plus uh, the area has some interesting history. So I figured uh, we'd see uh, what we can locate here. If there's anything interesting, any oddities that stick out. Really, I don't honestly know what's going to happen. So let's find out. The place definitely has an interesting mixture of new and old. And definitely looks like someone's been here doing some work, so that's good to know. Well, these are interesting down here. I don't run into many uh, stone crosses. And maybe that's because they're probably really fragile and uh, fall very easily, just like this one here has. But I love that style, that's cool. There's definitely some names on the other side here. So relatively recent, 1918 it looks like, to, I think that, excuse me, I think that says 1933. Either that or maybe that's an 88. I'm having to actually read these off my camera because it's much easier to tell. Oh, that's neat. So uh, if you watch any of my Kentucky series, you'll see a graveyard that I did there. And uh, they had quite a few graves that had uh, handwritten or hand carved, uh, non-professionally carved stones. And I think this one is, is like that as well. It's quite a few of these in this section. And you can see this one here actually had a portrait of a... Uh, Jesus uh, carved into it and it looks like the head has come off or someone's carved it out I'm not sure which I'm really glad that I stopped Well, this is cool There's definitely been some damage and it might have been when this cross here fell off, but it's got an incredible World War, was it World War II insignia there? That's really, really neat looking. This one has had some glass work done, it looks like. Yeah, those are definitely glass beads. Sometimes it's just so incredible, the level of creativity you find in, in these places. I'm not quite sure where to go next. Like I said, everything's kind of mixed up here. I think I'm going to try and make my way over to this really cool looking mausoleum though. Because even if it's a really short episode, then I can at least say that I got in there. It didn't appear to be locked. It looks really amazing. I'm kind of afraid I might need a flashlight though. I wanted to check out this marker first. If you're a follower of the channel, you've seen quite a few of these amazing tree markers. There's an incredibly famous one online that's in a cemetery in, an Indian, in Indianapolis. And it has a hand reaching down from heaven and I believe grasping another hand and it's kind of uh, in this area here it looks like the tree's been hollowed out and I believe it's made by the exact same 
uh, company or designer. But just incredible detail on these stones. They're some of the most amazing that I've ever found. And then they always come accompanied with these really amazing uh, markers for the individual family members too. And in certain cases, the setup is incredibly elaborate. If you watch one of my videos, it almost looks like a little campfire pit that's been set up in the middle of the uh, graveyard. It's it's really kind of touching. And the uh, they're designed a little bit different from those uh, markers. The individual markers on that one are made to look like uh, somebody had cut stumps up and set them around so that you could sit on them. They seemed incredibly nice actually, and even waved. And they're definitely getting out to visit someone, so that's gonna be fine. I'm hoping it's not gonna be locked though. It's pretty cool looking, and it looks like it definitely has uh, some of the, looks like glass brickwork up at the top, and I'm not sure it might just be a layer of Oh no, it looks like it used to have it, and they've been broken out, and they put a layer of plexiglass over it. Let's see if I can actually get in, or if you have to have an appointment. Oh wow. This is cool. Check this out, guys. I'm gonna be pretty quick here. But this is amazing, and there's even photos. And obviously this really cool fireplace. I'm gonna be very respectful and very quick, but I wanted to get some of this because there's some really amazing photos and it's a really beautiful place. I'm imagining there used to be windows here too, but unfortunately someone's vandalized this place over the years. I'm so glad I was able, I was able to make it in though. These old photos are absolutely amazing. even see way there at the top something's been left or maybe it's just a place that's or uh, excuse me a little pot that's been placed up there for flowers I was wondering for a moment like it must be incredibly hard to come in here and visit somebody that's been placed up here this has been really neat but I think it's time to go I'm gonna check this one little side room out real quick, and then we'll leave. Oh, this is just a little, oh, someone's definitely hidden a few beers back here. It might even be a pipe. Okay, let's close this back up. Actually, both of these got messed up. Mm -hmm. 
Here's another uh, World War One. Actually, not another. This is the first World War One vet I found here. But I found it kind of interesting because uh, when I was in Kentucky, the uh, cemetery, which I was mentioning earlier in the video, was actually called Bain Cemetery. So it's kind of a neat coincidence. Quite a few World War I vets here. I'm seeing them pop up all over now that I saw the first one. That's kind of neat. I see a lot more World War II vets and a lot more Civil War vets around here for some reason. Here we are at the second tree-shaped stone here. And again, has the uh, custom individual markers for the family members as well. Trying to figure out what this might be. I think it might actually be a dress that's been draped over the tree. I don't know if there's anything. Yeah, it definitely appears to be some sort of fabric. So maybe this was like a, hus a husband's uh, ode to his uh, past wife. This is very interesting. I don't know if erosion caused the stone in the back to fall off the top or what exactly happened, but you can see that this here used to be sitting up on this pedestal here. There's definitely been some damage to this place that kind of looks like a bunch of people went through with baseball bats. Like that one World War uh, symbol that I found on the top of the grave that was just bent so badly. This is an interesting one. If I'm correct, and uh, if anybody out there knows for sure, I think this, if I remember right, that's actually one of the symbols for the Odd Fellows. Uh, possibly, or maybe it just looks like it. I don't know, maybe chime in if you know. Well, this is strange here. You can kind of tell on the video, but there's a small mound. And it's raised about about a foot and a half above the uh, circle of uh, graves here and right in the middle. I wonder if there used to be a monument of some sort here. This is kind of a sad case here. See that all that's left, or maybe all that's ever been, is this tiny little place uh, to stick a metal marker and then a, looks like a temporary placement marker that was put there. Makes me wonder what war he fought in. Maybe this uh, marker is an indicator and I'm just not sure. If you uh, know, let me uh, know in the comments below. These here appear to be two more examples of uh, possible amateur stones, but a little bit uh, better detail in these. A little bit deeper of carving. So this uh, grave here in the middle has been kind of sandwiched in by this tree here. So much so that you can see that the tree is literally grown over the side of the grave and it's starting to engulf it. You can see it's also pushed over this Civil War veteran's grave as well. I 
right, everybody, I want to thank you guys for watching, and that concludes this exploration. Hope you really enjoyed all the interesting little oddities that we were able to find at this uh, graveyard here, including a really amazing mausoleum uh, with some cool uh, old photos in there. So make sure you uh, give the video a big old uh, thumbs up if you like it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you guys haven't checked out my second channel, My Story, make sure you check that out using the link in the description below. Uh, thank you all, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.